Alright guys, so before we start this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe because we're trying to grow and we're also on the road to um, 5,000 subscribers. We're getting there pretty fast, so be sure to uh, drop a like and subscribe to help me get into the algorithm. Also drop a comment because that helps a lot too. And anyways, today we're going over the best no recoil guns in Phantom Forces. For number three, we have a pretty low recoil gun. It's the Scar Hammer. Um, I feel like I should put like comp folding on this thing instead of comp stubby. Um, we'll see how that works. It's pretty low recoil, like it's actually really low recoil, so... You can pretty much just beam people far away. That's 237 studs and that killed them no problem, so... This thing's pretty good with recoil control. There's not really much recoil at all. And it also does really good damage. It's uh, three shot to four shot, I'm pretty sure. It does, uh, um, it has 50 rounds, so that's another upside. Four shot kill all ranges to the torso, of course. You can't just four shot limb because there's a torso multiplier. But this thing has basically no recoil. 50 rounds of just greatness. What else can I say? This is a very good gun. It will never let you down. The only problem I'd say with this gun is probably the walk speed in all honesty. How did I hit that guy three times and do 57? I'm confused. All right, there we go. Basically, this thing's really nice. It has basically no recoil. Most SCAR guns have no recoil, but this one's probably the best um, SCAR rifle in the game, honestly. Next, we have the um, AUG H-Bar. This is, uh, I think this has less recoil than the um, SCAR Hammer, but uh, I think, I'm pretty sure this one does four shot torso as well shot the four shot torso so it does the same damage but it has less recoil which is a good thing and it also has a, a little less rounds and maybe the fire rate's different i'm not sure they're kind of similar guns in all honesty the only difference is the recoil and the um mag size and of course it's an aug not a scar so that's another difference but that one's a little bit obvious yeah this thing's just an absolute laser beam yeah, just no problem. I am lagging really bad though, like I have been for the past week, but um, that's beside the point. But yeah, this thing's absolute beam. I'd recommend checking it out. Hello. That guy actually just like randomly teleported there, nice. But this thing, you'll have no problem beaming people cross map with this. It's a very good gun. I recommend using it. I used to main it back in the day. I have like 2,000 kills with this thing, and it's pretty nice. For the next one, we have the L85A2, and I mostly put this on the list because um, it has uh, basically only camera recoil. There's not very much gun recoil to it, so you can reduce uh, the um, camera recoil quite a bit and get a very low recoil setup. Yeah, that's basically no recoil. There we go. This does four shot to the limb, which is something to keep in mind. This has better damage. Well, it has better long range damage than both the other guns because you can four shot to the limb, which is anywhere on the body. You can four shot with this gun, but it doesn't have a three shot close range. So that is something to keep in mind. There we go. So yeah, this thing, I think this has a faster fire rate than the other two guns as well. So you're going to be uh, doing more damage per second, I guess. So yeah. This is a good gun, very low recoil. Very good damage too, I'd recommend it as well, if you really want this. But um, yeah, this is a good gun. Uh, no recoil, good damage. There's basically no drawbacks to this gun, except for maybe the mag size. The mag size isn't really much of a problem if you're used to the 30 rounds, but it doesn't have as much um, bullets as the other two guns, so. Wow. I. I I don't know how that guy didn't kill me. Another downside would be um, the low maximum damage because you can't three shot close range like the other two guns can. So that is a drawback to the gun. So if you did enjoy this video, drop a like and subscribe. Join the Roblox group and the Discord server. We're trying to get to 5k and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.